Most definitely. Um, another thing I want to ask you about, I'm not sure, but is it true that you got shot like going to like a funeral or something like that? Uh, hell yeah, man. Long live my little brother Fat Mac, man. Repass. He, uh, yeah, I got shot out of Repass, man. My, uh, show him your stomach. My, my guy, brother, he overdosed off the fentanyl, man, off the perks and shit, man. Mm -hmm. So, called me at the right, you know, wrong time, right time, however you call it. You know? That's what comes with life, though. You live out of the gun, you're gonna die by the gun. But you ain't dying by it. Why you getting into all these situations? We finna get the fuck up out of here, man. You said what? Why you getting in all these situations? We leaving this bitch 2020. You get into these situations because you can't slap a nigga mama 10 years ago and then be like, oh, he. You it's know over with now. So it's like. I got into these situations because my environment, how the way I grew up, this is all I knew. I ain't had no family brothers. I had my brothers. So it's like, I had us. Uh, so, you know, you know, getting shot, it ain't, it, it, it ain't wake me up, but it, it woke me up like, damn, it's something big out here than, you know, just to be fucking around. And I've seen a lot of niggas looking God. down in that casket. I ain't gonna be one of them. But ain't repass is like early in the morning. Yeah, it was a no, repass. It was like, it was a, it was like a six party. in the morning. Six it was like in the six morning. in the morning. We had morning. block jumping all night mm -hmm. type shit. And outside, like outside, out there early. They the got the low. Yeah, yeah. You go fish. Motherfucker yeah. ride past. They got the they, low. They just did their thing. They man. did their thing. They, Fuck it. I ain't gonna explain. They just mm -hmm. did their thing, man. You know. That's shout crazy, out to him. Man. He did his thing. Yeah, I wanted to know that. That's why I got another thing I want to ask you. And I'm going to ask you this without being policey. But I am going to ask you this. And I think this is a question a lot of people in the drill culture can learn from. I just recently started doing interviews, okay? Um, it's a few people on the internet kind of upset with some of the interviews I do that. Okay? Right, right, right. Um, I want to know, is it true you catch a lot of backlash from doing these interviews? Because you had a classic interview on Zach TV. Actually, one of, like, four or five interviews that he did that actually hit a million views. Damn. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, you gonna, you gonna, it's a lot of backlash because you got a million people that hate you, a million people, people that hate like him, you. and a million people that like you, and a million people that like him. So you got a lot of gossip, you got like, it's like we the celebrities and they the TMZ. Basically. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. TMZ talk good shit and they talk bad shit. So you know, it's like. Did that classic Zach TV interview, did that target you any, anyhow? Did that uh, kind of make your face hot or anything like that? Any unwarranted um, heat? Rest know? in power with Zach, man. Long live Zach TV and the whole Zach TV movie, man. That was my dog, that, that but dog but uh, I won't speak on that. That's you know, recipe Zach. You know that 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 brought a lot of attention, but do you, you regret know? it? Huh? You regret the interview? Oh, the, uh, yeah, I I I I I definitely regret it because it put the faces to the monsters. Yeah, folks. Um. He put the faces to the monsters. Mm. And if I would never did that, I would just left it alone. Some niggas is street niggas that really know how to rap. I'm one of them. So it's like, I should have just left it alone. Right. You know, kept it in the street, but you know how that shit go, man. Right. Everybody get mad, hostility. You know, you can't control yourself. Right. You know how it go, man. I wanted to ask you that, you know, because you know that interview got over a million views on it. You one of the only cats, not not the only one, but it's only like five videos on the Famous Zach TV channel that hit a million views, and that interview was one of them. When they was in the hallway? Um, they was you like know, outside in the backyard. backyard. Yeah. It's like 1.6 or something like that. Damn. Right that interview, that combo. Uh, you know, somebody else in that conversation kind of stood out in that interview. <laughs> uh, by the name of J Rock. Yeah, J Rock. Yeah, that's our brother. That's my brother. That's mm -hmm. my right hand man. What about him? You know, I want to ask you something that might be a little touchy, and I don't want it to come off as disrespectful, but this is a live strategy, and I want to ask you, okay? Um, 
did that interview kind of target him a little bit? It, that's all we were nah, just. Nah, it's 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 uh, it kind of it it kind of did because they put faces to the monster, but it really didn't. They did their thing. Long live King J Rock. Most definitely. I wanted to ask you that because he kind of like blew up overnight. Night. You know. I know that was my backbone. That was my Superman, man. Yeah. That was my, you know, you know how that shit go, man. Chicken and beef. Uh, hey, man, chicken and beef, man. How chicken you want and beef. Chicken how and beef, man. Chicken, chicken and, and beef, beef, man. Yeah. Duck your fucking taco. So your shit get hit with the Rocco. <laughs> <laughs> um, MPG Duck. That's my fucking dog. What about him? His his cousin do my tax. Yeah. What about him? Relationship with him. Uh, uh, I got a relationship with him. I'm gonna keep it 100 because look, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it 100 because I'm not like the rest of these rappers. Oh, that was my homie. Me and Duck, you know, we came up in the same era because the BDK movie 2000, you know, 13, 12. We've been around each other. We didn't, I just went to his mama house on. I don't want to say it, but in the seventies, yeah. I say in the seventies, JoJo Little Mister. So we didn't came in cahoots, but like that was my like. Every, oh, folks, I love you, but that was my. That was no everyday homie, but that was like a, he, uh, we come through. We, that was, we good. You come through. That was, that, that you was know good, that. That was a good nigga, man. Long live Big Clout, man. Little JoJo. Oh, that's my that's my dog. I only made JoJo like. Two times, my OG knew Joe. That's my dog. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm full slim. My That's OG, my dog. My, I knew him. My OG knew him like two times. Well, met him one time. She, he was playing this BDK song coming out the stove. She was like, uh, don't my son know you type shit? What's your son yeah. name? Type of, yeah, yeah. I, uh, you added that shit out. But That's yeah. my dog, man. Man, four. I seen four two times. He's a third real dog, ass man. nigga. Did he have that energy when you met him? Yes. Oh, uh, hell yeah. He was, he, he was about he was, that. He was like, I like him because he like me. He like my little homie. He get real rowdy, real rambunctious. And he, he'll he fight got, you. He got, he got, he got the body of a fucking midget, but the heart of a fucking, fucking giant. giant. Yeah. He ain't never fold. He just he ain't listen. I wish he was a listen. Bro. Pip, I want to ask you something, and I want you to keep a hundred with me in your opinion. Uh, you know, I'm a drill historian, so I just don't interview people. I like to interview people in the drill culture, you know? Right, right, um, right. A lot of people tell me JoJo Death turned the city up. It definitely did. That's true? It definitely did. It, it, it definitely did because we was caught up. We was caught, we was caught up. We was caught up with this, um, now see me, I always like, 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 don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm BDK, but I ain't, I ain't BDK to everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm BDK and I'm BDK, but I ain't, I ain't, look, I ain't BDK to so everybody. Like, so say like this, this is how we can explain this. Hold so on, look, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm BDK, but I ain't BDK to everybody because money don't gain bang, but when he came... With that era, and I was came down there, his ops was my ops, I was fucking with him. So it's like, it's us against y'all, BDK, GDN. So it's like, when he died, he was the voice of that, BDK. And we was the voice of that, let's get it, squad. So it's like, when he left, it's like it mixed up a lot, and it, it like it hurt a lot of people, both sides, you know what I'm saying? Short, Shorty had a name. For herself, like Shorty was in a few months. Shorty, Shorty won, Shorty won post to die though. Like that was a that was a good solid little nigga, man. I like him, long little King Jojo. Unfortunately, mm. um, what's up with your Rico Records? Is that over with? Cause I want to be honest with you, I like Rico Records. You know, I interviewed him a couple times over the phone. Seems like a pretty cool dude. You seem like a pretty cool dude. Motherfucking uh. It could be the past. Who you talking about? Rico Rackfish. It could be the past. It's, uh, just come right. it's, it's not even that. Uh, you know, he, you know, 
I don't sick or shit, man. He, he a good nigga, man. Just sometimes I never change my loyalty because another nigga loyalty change, man. Keep doing your thing, you know. Salute you. You know, I keep, you know, take care of the kids. Do your thing, man, you know. You stay out my way, I stay out your way. Right, Simple bro. as that, man. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Free Samo so we can get up with his ass. But, yeah, Rico Records. No, he he doing his thing, man. We I, go I, right. I, I, I salute you, you cool. nigga, man. Samo, fuck you. No. <laughs> no, man, we ain't on that right now, man. I wanted to ask you that, though, because that's part of the culture, and, and I got to ask you that. You know, a lot of people be like, uh, truth don't be messy. I don't try to be messy, but I got you in the chair, and I got to be transparent with the viewers. Right, right. Um, any new projects? Oh shit! Uh, a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. I was finna let you. I sent you some, so you you hear that talk. Had me talking that shit. Oh uh, okay. I'm taking that out immediately. Uh, where is that? I just sent it to you. I just got it too. I heard it coming through my phone too. Uh yes, I got um uh, Mr. Bfyg dropping. Uh, Folks, that that's dropping. Then I'm dropping that NBA M Four L. Uh, then I'm gonna drop something for the ladies. Let them love nobody. Oh, so you're gonna drop a project for the ladies? Yeah. That's a little different. Let them love.